I'm not the hugest fan of vampire stories, but every now and then I'll get an itch for it. Mars Red definitely was hoping to be that itch for me <laughs> currently, but this is my thoughts on the first four episodes of the series going into the spring 2021 season. Mars Red takes place in a fictional history 1923 in Japan. Uh, vampires are technically a common thing in the world, and the Japanese government has basically put together a group called the Code Zero, which is an organization that will go out and find and stop vampires in society. Essentially, every time somebody gets bitten by a vampire, there's like a chance, a very high chance that the poison will just kill them, but there is a chance that they will become a vampire as well. And this organization actually utilizes vampires to hunt vampires, so if somebody does get overtaken and they do find these people, there is a chance that they can kind of convert them to work for the organization. And there's other cases where they'll just basically kill them because they're just, you know, a, a danger to society, basically. So we follow a guy named Maida, and Maida is presumed a human. <laughs> I, I'm still kind of getting a feeling that there's something odd about him. But, I mean, he walks around during the day, so he might be one of those kind of half-vampire kind of situations. But essentially, Maida uh, is, in pretty much in the first episode, appointed to run this Code Zero group. And this Code Zero group has four vampires currently within it plus other soldiers that are underneath them they can, can, you know, run and humans that they can uh, command and whatnot. And we really quickly kind of are introduced to these four vampires that work under him. There is uh, Takeuchi, who is like a scientist. He loves to, to study all these kind of stuff. And he just became a vampire because he was studying the blood and the blood splashed him in the eye. So he became a vampire and he loves it because now he's immortal and he can he can keep, you know, studying science and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Kurusu, who is, like, supposedly, like, just under the highest rank, or he was, he was bit by a rare high-rank vampire, so his potential is extremely high. Uh, Takuchi, who is kind of a, uh, just kind of more, like, he seems like a salary man that became a vampire. He's just kind of a very, uh, normal guy that just doesn't really like the situation that he's in. Sua, who kind of seems like he's, like, a crazy ninja <laughs> a vampire he's always kind of jumping around and 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 has a mask on all the time but that like i said these this group of people kind of just work together to find vampires and stop them in the first episode we really had Maida come to the location that where this code zero is located and he was currently at the time trying to see if a recently bit vampire would be converted to work with them or if she had potential and come to find out, it it's insinuates that it was this girl that was uh, a love interest of his that he left behind, and he was returning home, and unfortunately, she got bit, and so she was uh, kind of being taken over by this this sickness, so to speak. And then it kind of goes into some vampire couple starts getting into this artificial blood that the vampires are creating in order to feed the vampires, stopping that kind of. Uh, a movement of this this artificial blood and that's kind of where it's gotten so far with the episodes that I've watched so yeah my thoughts so far is I kind of boring <laughs> and, and that's unfortunate because I, I I really do like the setting I like so far the concept there's a few characters in there that have had great moments I mean uh, Tokichi so far was fantastic I love this kind of moment where he was because they have to be essentially erased from society and when they become a vampire. And this uh, Takuichi wanted to see his wife. And so Kurusu kind of figured out a way that he could be able to see his wife and talk to her without it kind of raising suspicions. And it was really, really cute. I really love that scene. Uh, Maida and his kind of struggle with uh, Misaki at the very beginning was really kind of tragic. I really like that story. But everything in between there is kind of just not working for me. And that's that's the unfortunate thing is it's got a really cool, gritty setting. It's just it's, it's all the in-betweens. I, I guess them trying to explain the world a little bit too much, trying to really kind of get you absorbed in the world itself and the setting. It's not really catching me at all. It, it's, it's, it's not really that interesting. And that's the that's the struggle that I'm having is I really want to watch this show I, I think the art the art style is very unique and interesting. Uh, it's kind of going for a very... It, it seems very much like uh, the Tower of God series, that kind of uh, coloring and, and style. But it's, at times, it just kind of gets really rough with the actual art style itself. But it's a very intriguing world. 
it's a really interesting concept. Just the they've already hit on several ideas of like, you know, what if your friend gets bit by one of these things and the loss of them having to basically give them a mercy kill, the concepts of you know your loved one being uh, in danger, the the vampires themselves, the society not accepting them or accepting them in a certain way, but more in control. All these things are kind of being touched on a little bit, but none of it really in an interesting way so far. And like I said, the way that it's telling the story, it's doing a great job of of creating the atmosphere. It's doing a great job of pulling you into the world. It's just the world itself isn't that interesting. It's not it's not telling interesting stories with it. Like I I loved this brief moment we had with this uh, vampire couple. And I almost had a very brief moment of feeling sorry for them because they loved each other and they were being basically hunted. But it didn't spend much time with it. They didn't spend enough time for me to get connected enough with them. It was only a brief moment. And that was like, it felt like a missed opportunity. So it's like, why did you show me all this other stuff and then spend such a very brief moment on these characters? It's almost as if you were trying to force in an action for this episode and ended up just kind of wasting the opportunity you had there with these characters and so th- i guess that's my that's where i'm kind of leaning so far is it, it it has a lot of potential it has a very uh a world that kind of pulls you in but it doesn't do enough with it it doesn't do enough with the stories that it's trying to tell and that's where i'm really struggling so far with the series so yeah that that's that's kind of where i sit so far with the series definitely if that sounds interesting to you check it out um, it, it seems like there's a lot of potential there. It's just not doing enough with it so far in my, in my viewpoint. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the first four episodes of Mars Red. Again, if that sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out. Uh, let me know down below in comments. Let me know what you thought of the series so far. Uh, like if you love this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all enjoyed and y'all take care.